All right, glad you're back with us. This is Heath Close with Build Box, and I'd like to welcome you to part eight of the Make Your Own Game series. In part seven, we created two new game modes to play, and we also created locked menu buttons for those modes so our players could work towards unlocking them with in game currency. Now, in part eight, we are going to add a coin shop and cook up a way for players to buy different characters in that shop. So let's start by double clicking on our main menu and bringing in a new graphic for a coin shop button. And let's name the button and go back into the menu editor and duplicate our turbo UI. Let's rename this UI coin shop and double click on it and go in and remove buttons and other things that we don't want to show. Okay, now that we have our coin shop primed and ready for a character store, let's talk about duplicating characters. Let's go into our original world and select our character in the assets panel. In order to create a character store, we need more than one character. And there are a couple ways to do this. One, we could drag in a new PNG sequence for our new character and go through and get it all set up like we did with our first character. Or we could just duplicate our current character and tweak it. So let's select our character in the Assets panel and hit D to duplicate it. Let's be sure to name our original character. Let's replace our default animation for this new character and rename it as well. Let's double check the collision shape. And now let's scroll down to the monetization options. You'll see a few options in here, but we want in-game currency. And I'm going to set this real low so I can demo it for you. So let's just make it 10 coins. Now at the bottom, let's add a character component. Let's add a character icon component. Now remember, anytime there isn't another graphic to display, BuildBox will display the default animation. So we could have the default animation play in the character store, or we could add an image or sequence for what we would want to see in the shop when it's locked or unlocked. Let's repeat the process for another character, and we could make as many as we want, but a few will get us started. So let's go back into the coin shop now and create a way to buy these characters. So now in the character section, we see two buttons we could use as a way to purchase character, the single unlock button and the multiple unlock button. The single will let you list each character separately, but let's drag a multiple unlock button into our menu. Let's resize this and make it bigger so there is more area for our user to swipe in. There's options here for the label. You can change the amount of space you need to label the store. And let's drag a graphic in for an unlock button. This is the graphic that you have to touch in order to unlock your character. There are options here for sounds when you unlock a character, even one you don't have enough currency for and a graphic for a random unlock button, which you could also set up with a character button. Just drag it in and select Unlock Random Character. And once you have them all, the Random Unlock Character button will disappear from the menu. So there are a lot of neat things you can put in a coin shop. It doesn't stop at just characters. Once you monetize your game with ads by putting your account keys in the project settings and adjust your UIs to serve ads, you can place a remove ads button in the shop, but we will cover that whole process in another series. Now in the next video, we will be exporting our project on iOS and Android. So come on back for that one and I will see you in part nine.